here in this session we are going to discuss about the error handling so error handling how we can able to uh, uh, handle the errors and all whenever you are automating any process if some page is not open properly web page or some documents are not open or any error type errors or page changes so how you can able to find out those errors and so uh, where uh, if some process is stopped suddenly so how you can able to know those things and all so we can use this by using error handling this is very very important concept so please listen carefully so we can see that how we can able to handle the errors and all so i'm just using this this first any process you are starting it so if you are expecting some error may come so you how you have to use this begin error handling and end error handling commands i'm just using begin error handling so whenever you are begin error handling you can uh, raise question if you want to continue if a error came also just record it and continue or you can stop the task if something is error came just stop the task you can keep that also you can continue also by using just take snapshot this is the, you can take the error snapshot it will give the error snapshots and just just error it will save in like error.png in that path right so that one also you can do or you can run another task also so if any error came you can run some other task like like that you can select some other task and that task will open and run or you can log data into file we are already see that right log log data into file so what you will say that you can log the data into file it will save it will save in the error dot test like what i want to keep i want to keep error line see error line number comma error description i want to record it every time so what is the error came and all so then i can able to next time i can able and time stamp should be here so every time whenever error came you can append into log file or you can send a mail also you can use to mail and from mail so this one is not done because we have not done any configuration email configuration we will see the next how you can able to send a mail and you can attach snapshot and you can send it and attach a variable also so that one you can do that variable assignment and you can assign to some variable what is the error you can assign just second prompt assignment and specify values like uh, whether uh, you can pass error description you can pass error description and set status task is fail you can do that also so this is what you can see that so every time whenever you are doing any task or anything uh, process you are doing first you have to keep the begin and handling in between this you have to write the code so in between that code if any issues came that will be handled by this error handling so if you want to run the task or if you want to stop the task so how it will be handling is depends on this just what we will do is we will take some thing which will be created i have just taken some insert key stuff just taken k1 notepad and just entered some data okay actually you can see here there is no demo data notepad is not open so we'll see what will happen i am not opened any demo dot notepad window but i want to enter some data so what will happen where it will enter we will see that whether it will create error or how we can able to do it. so one more thing is whenever you are uh, error is there it will take some time to decide that because the 
so it will verify sometime so you can see here cannot find that error is came right you can see now where is the error is there you can see here error.png is scale and error notepad also came right notepad you can see here time error line number two two in the sense the second line of the code you got the error what is that keystrokes second line right second line cannot find a window or application title demo notepad that was open during record so there is no file open demo dot notepad that's why the error is came so you can identify like that so whenever you are getting any issues or anything so by using like that you can do that and we will see that image also you can capture that image also the error image Yeah, you can see here now. The error is scan, right? You cannot find window or application title demo not bad open during error. Error line number is two. So second line, so it's find out that, that the window is not there. So like that we can able to uh, justify the things. So how you can able to handle the errors and all. And the third one is like we saved in the prompt assignment, right? So we want to display that prompt assignment. So next in the beginning her handling we given that prompt assignment right so what we will do second line error came whether it is going to third line or not how you can able to know i'm just giving prompt assignment here so it, it should come to the prompt assignment right whenever it error is came failure so it's not skipping the task it is just going to the next line only so because we are given this in beginning her handling continue right so it should go to the next line without skipping it right so we will see here so please listen carefully this is very very important topic if you want to run any task any work you are doing it first you should be keep within begin error handling and end error handling there is no you can see a second step you can see keystrokes it is waiting some time to search that window if you open in between these time so it will enter the value otherwise it will not give any specifies any value right now you can see error is came it's going to next line okay so wait what is happening is it just in run task we given something right but what it is going to run some other things it's some task we given here it'll just run on second whenever it is generating error it will take some time you can have to wait for that so error now error pop up again then okay
you see the window tile uh, message box cannot find a window application error description is key message so you can see here because we give one here the variable assigned to variable then we are displaying that variable right so i'm just giving this you can see after and error handling it is going to be step so if i want to i want to stop the task so then the it will not display the message right it should not display the message so we will see that now also After I can, we should not display the message box. It will simply end the task. Because whatever we are doing is we are just stopping the task after error. If any error came in between that, so it will not go to the next step. Can see the error so you can see the message box is not used right now so this is error handling so you can able to do this all task take snapshot run task you can run another task if any error came or you can go to log data in the file or send email variable assignment these all things you can do that so and after that then in between whatever your any error came it will decide whether it want to continue for next task or start the task okay these things you can run that thanks for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe so our next session we are going to discuss about other topics thanks